Right now, I'll try and get red one on the radio. As they perform there, this play takes off. Yeah, red frequency. Five minutes. 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 having previously flown from 2005 to 2007. He's a former Tornado F3 pilot and Hawk flying instructor and flew operationally in Iraq and as the commander of the air defence flight in the Falkland Islands. As the smoke comes off, the wings have straightened to form flanker. Those outside pilots must anticipate their inputs to keep the wings straight so they use the cadence in Red One's command. last year. In Phoenix now, ladies and gentlemen, this is our memorial event for Eggman and Sean. weeks. 
saw the unveiling of the memorial to the Royal Air Force and Commonwealth Air Crew from Bomber Command who lost their lives during World War II. The memorial in Green Park in London honours the 55,573 young men who all as volunteers at an average age of only 22 lost their lives for our freedom. So now in Vixen formation, from your right hand side with some red, white and blue, this is our tribute to the personnel of Bomber Command. McMillan. was born in the UK but moved to New Zealand at the age of 10 and eventually joined the Royal New Zealand Air Force. He transferred to the Royal Air Force in 2002 and became a Hawk flying instructor and Harrier GR9 pilot. With the smoke on now, the team are forming our largest formation shape which is Concorde. Those four aircraft on the wings now drop back to be directly a beam Red 7 at the rear of the formation. In this bend, this is Concorde. as we look tail on, is flown by another of our first year pilots, Red 2 Flight Lieutenant Martin Pert. Pert is another former Hawk flying instructor and was the solo Hawk display pilot in 2000. They're going to roll out 45 degrees to our left to get your cameras ready for a great photo opportunity. Reds 4 and 5 roll back, and this is Eagle. That's the command for the team to move back into 7 arrow. I mentioned before about a monumentous year for the UK. Today's a great British sporting day with the Formula One at Silverstone and Andy Murray playing in the Wimbledon final. So a bit of red, white and blue for some British patriotism. And I can tell you now that Andy Murray is 6-4 down in the second set. <coughs> the Typhoon, the Royal Air Force's newest fighter, where his duties were on quick reaction alert, protecting the airspace of both the UK and the Falkland Islands. Out to your right, you can see the team have formed a diamond. With seven aircraft, we call this Short Diamond, and this is the Short Diamond Roll. <coughs> jet and weapons trainer and has been in service with the Royal Air Force since 1976. 
It's very agile and precise to fly, and we're about to show you why all of our pilots love to do so. Out to the front, you can see the front five aircraft have straightened. That's Reds 1 to 5, known as Enid, after Enid Blyton's famous five. And you can see the synchro pair tucked in behind them. This formation is called Dagger, and as they roll out directly to your front, get your cameras ready for the start of the second half of the Red Arrows display. The smoke comes on. This is the detonator. turning away from us at 6G or six times the force of gravity and everything in their bodies weighs six times more than normal so they're working physically hard to strain against those g-forces as they roll up towards us again this is the cyclone as they fly the rollbacks. to fly the vortex.
look right, 45 degrees for ocean. With red, white and blue, this is the Python. turn white. We produce that smoke by injecting regular diesel fuel into the aircraft's 400 degree engine exhaust, which causes it to vaporise. The red and blue colours are made by simply adding a dye to that diesel. And we can carry five minutes of white and a minute each of red and blue. Yeah, I agree that's 